Hello everybody, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get all the free fist styles in Pilgrimed. Follow me because we are about to get our first fist style, which is Cod Kondo. This is located in the forest, and you have to kill the hobo, who is quite a difficult enemy I'd say. And once you kill him, you can talk to him again, and he'll give you the opportunity to learn his fighting style, Cod Kondo. So as I'm aware, there are two locations where he can spawn. One is right here, and the other location is by the beach in the forest next to a tree, and I will show you where that is right now. I don't know if he can spawn anywhere else, but if he can, it's probably going to be somewhere in the forest, and he is, from what I can tell, normally in these two locations. So as far as killing the hobo actually goes, this guy parries almost every single attack, and the only way that you can hit him is if you parry his attacks, and eventually, if you just keep on hitting back, you'll eventually get in a hit. Since the guy barely takes damage, the best way to kill him is to get some kind of healing, for example, the rally upgrade or the nightcap. Oh, bro. He needs to stop painting, bro. So after you kill the hobo, you can go back to him and he will teach you the fighting style. And he will also have a shop option where you can buy different accessories. For Cod Kondo, the accessories are quite parry focused, so if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then this might be the right fighting style for you. This is what Cod Kondo looks like. It has a unique future, which is that when you jump and press M1, you launch yourself forward. This fighting style reminds me a lot of Sanji's Black Leg. I think it's the pose. Next in line is the Rock Kondo fighting style. This is the most annoying one to get, but it's also the easiest one to get. For beginners, this is probably the ideal one to go for. Luckily for us, the location of the NPC that gives you the quest to get Rock Wando is quite close to the forest. He's right here, actually. So you want to talk to him, and then you can follow me to complete the quest. Essentially, we just have to go through the tundra area, and then reach the top of the mountain. There are two peaks in the mountain, one which has the Warden, who is a lower level NPC who's like a mini-boss. We don't want to go to that one, we just have to go to the higher one, and that guy that you talked to before will be waiting at the top for you. Once you reach there, he'll give you another quest, which is to beat the NPCs who are in the area. These NPCs are fairly easy to beat, they are weak to fire, so if you have any fire weapons, you might want to equip them to make your life a bit easier. Rock Wando is quite a basic fighting style, there isn't really that much which makes it stand out. These are the accessories that Rock Wando has to offer. Using the robe is almost a necessity, because it increases the damage of the last hit by 50%. The Iron Fist is good for pretty much any melee weapons. Monk beads probably aren't good. But the Idol of Solitude can be really good for some bosses, like the Patrice who can two-tap you late game. Next up, I'm going to show you how to get the last fighting style, Kai Fist. This is probably the most viable fighting style that there is. First off, you're going to want to follow me and reach the Pirate Bay. If you keep on going along, you'll reach a cliffside where there's an opening in the wall where King Kai, or whatever his name is, is residing. Once you're there, you can challenge him to a fight, and if you beat him, then you can learn his fighting style from him. The Kaifus style is basically inspired by Ryu from Street Fighter, and when you fight him, he will throw Shoryukens and Hadoukens at you. You want to parry the fireballs, and his other two moves you just want to dodge out of the way because the parry timing is very strange. Like the Hobo, you can't hit him normally, so you have to parry about 4 or 5 of his attacks, and then you'll have a window to hit him. Kai will randomly spawn meteors from the air, and this will mess up your parry timing, so just run out of the way. For the Kai style, your heavy attack will inflict blue flames. Unlike the other two NPCs, Kai does not have a shop. In order to get the armor, you have to beat him over again. Once you beat him, go and talk to him and ask him to teach you something, and then you'll get the fighting style. This is what the fighting style looks like. The heavy attack obviously is the move that applies the blue flames. I'm not gonna lie, even though these fighting styles can be viable if you have the right armors and accessories, I really don't like them because the amount of slots that you need to use these builds means that you can't have anything else going on. If I had to choose one fighting style to use, it would definitely have to be the Kai Fist because I think that's the best one. Alright guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them.